Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the marquee selection tools within Photoshop CS6. So when you first click here, if you only click once, you're going to be using the rectangular marquee select. But if you hold down the left mouse click, you'll get all these other options. We have the elliptical, the single row and the single column. Let's get, let's start with the rectangular marquee, which is our default here. So what it does is obviously a rectangle. Uh, you can hold down a uh, left mouse click and drag just to create your rectangle. Now, once you have once you have created it, if you click within the the rectangle and you just move it, you can uh, change the placement of the rectangle. Okay. So this is uh, really for really simple selections. So now if you wanted to add more to to the rectangle here, if you hold down shift and you're gonna see the plus the plus sign there and drag one more time, you see that it added more to that rectangle that you had you previously had. If you hold hold down shift and create another rectangle and there you go now there's another option that I think is new to CS6 I don't know if it was available in the last versions but you have it over here as well it says add to selection you can just click here if you don't remember that you can just hold down shift you can just click there and add to the selection now to subtract from the selection you can either click here you also have that option up there just draw your rectangle and it's going to subtract from the from the previous selection now you can also hold down alt and you're going to see that minus sign to basically subtract subtract from the from this selection. Now another option that you have available is to, which is this one, is to intercept selections. Now the shortcuts are Alt and Shift. And you see that it took everything away but you still have the overall shape that you previously had. And you can do that with this option as well here. So that's that okay so now let's look at the elliptical marquee and again we can continue to add to our previous selection so it doesn't you don't have you can use them in combination as well so shift to add again you can go here to these menus up there alt to subtract and alt shift to intercept. See how he created that elliptic, elliptical shape. Now what the single row is, is basically one row. It's going to give you one row and it's one pixel I believe if you zoom in really close to it. Especially here where we can see the pixels you see it's only one row of pixels that's if you want to be really precise now you can use this one as well it's going to be the other way it's exactly the same thing it's one pixel one column of pixels So one more thing that I want to show you is if, so as we know, for, for the elliptical marquee, if you click and hold down the left mouse click and press Alt, hold down Alt, you're creating a, your shape from the center. And if you want it to be perfectly 
a circle while you are holding down the left mouse click and alt if you hold down shift you see that you get a perfect circle okay also when you create something with the either any of the marquee selections if you hold down the space bar you can move around the your selection and you can continue to add uh, change the form shape the, the selection if you hold on hold down all I mean spacebar so one more thing is uh, if you go to the move tool And now I have my my layer here I think it has to be rasterized. I'm using a smart object, smart layer. So if I rasterize that. So if you go to the move tool while well, you have something selected, you can basically cut that out of the of the of the place to remove that out. You can also if you wanted to if you hold down alt and drag you're going to get a, a copy that is that that's going to going to appear in the same layer by the way so if you hold down alt you get a copy and if you hold down alt and shift so that you preserve the the alignment okay so that's a basic uh that's just the basics of the marquee selection tools. I hope you liked the tutorial. Thank you for watching.